intuitively grasp my feelings, which also means that I cannot hide anything from you. Now, everyone, please look at the huge screen. The road we once took begins here. I just want to fight him. <laughs> from this Thank you. I appreciate on, it. You will witness the numerous decisions I've faced. I've selected a portion of these to share with you. Yeah, well, it's your fault that none of those decisions went well. Dumbass. Like, you're just stupid. That bird could have flown, could have had a good life if you didn't keep it in a cage. That's crazy. If you just, just let it free once in a while and taught it how to fly, it would have been fine and it wouldn't have died. Easy. Now, next next memory. Show me the next thing. <laughs> You'll be able to better understand my thoughts. No, I've heard, seen all your thoughts and I don't care. I don't understand Let's them. Begin. The first decision. Yep, yep, the yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Japanese, you're fluent. Robin and I were very young. We were victims of the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you're we victims of a Stellaron disaster and you're, we're trying to prevent another one from happening. Panic. Saw that we siblings had no one to turn to and took us in. You, you, you're insane in the head. Later on. Whatever. Robin and I lived the time with nary a care in the world. One day, after dinner, while my younger sister and I were lounging about in Mr. Gopher Wood's yard, we spotted a fledgling Charmony dove all on its own. That baby bird was tiny. It didn't even have all of its feathers. And it couldn't sing. When we oh, the stream it, crash? It was already on its last breath. Why? It Every time. Shrub, Every time. Probably abandoned by its parents. Why it crash again? What did it do this time? Every time. Like, why? Why would it do that every time? There's actually no reason. That's Twitch's fault that my stream crashed. For well, what? Twitch is holding me down. To build a nest for it right there and then. However, thinking back. That winter was unusually cold, with fierce winds at night in the yard, not to mention the many poisonous bugs and wild beasts in the vicinity. So, so Sunday, and so instead of like thinking about it's the survival of the fittest, it's like, hey, maybe the stronger people should help the weaker people and make a better world, you know? And, and like, you know, just help each other out and stuff like that. I don't know. It was clear that if we left the fledgling in the yard, it stood no chance of surviving until spring. So, I suggested we take it inside, place it on the shelf by the window, and asked the adults to fashion a cage for it. We decided that when it regained its strength enough to spread its wings, we would release it back into the wild. The tragic part something that we'd never considered was that this bird's fate had already been determined long before this moment yeah it's as if you guys didn't help the bird at all you guys didn't help the bird you guys were just terrible owner you're just like have you thought of that you were just a terrible owner its destiny was determined by our momentary whim no it wasn't you could have helped it but you didn't so it's really just your fault Sunday. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I mean, you were a kid. It was, it was whoever the adult. The power of choice to you all. Faced with this situation, what choice would you make? Stick to the original plan and build a nest with soft net where the Charmony Dove fell. Or build a cage for it and feed it, giving it the utmost care from within the warmth of a home. 
I eagerly await your answer. Um, I kind of want to choose this one, but let's see what, what you guys have to say. That guy just casually throws this kind of question at us? What exactly is his deal? But fine, I'll answer, I guess. If it were me, I guess I'd choose to build a cage for the little Charmony dub. Build a cage. After all, leaving it there. Okay. Um, I'll do whatever Himiko says, to be honest. I kind of want to hear. Or whatever the majority of what they say. I'm a sheeple. Decipher his intentions right now. But based solely on that question, I would probably choose to build that dove a cage. <laughs> Even if I was gonna really Okay. I just wanna hear your answers. What did, what about you, Himiko? It looks like he really has no back to the question. I would personally choose oh. to build a little charm no special reason. I'd okay. Let's all pick we all pick okay, yeah. Let's build a cage for it. Wait, did she say build a cage? Yeah, I know. I would trust Yumiko the most. It looks like he really has no intention of imprisoning us. If it's just a quiz, I suppose it's fine to humor him. Sorry, I was being offered food. Back to the question. Build the little... A cage, okay. Yeah, Sunday, we'd build a cage for it. Yep. I'm happy to see that you made a choice similar to ours. If your mind is made up, let me reveal the outcome of this. Uh, I know it's crazy, Sunday, but you... <sighs> let's sit down and think for a second. There's many factors that go into taking care of a bird. And just because you build a cage for the bird doesn't mean it's going to die just because you built a cage for it. It dies because of your poor negligence. I hope you know that. We passionately nursed it back to health. Preparing only the best food for it every day. We even preened its feathers. Later, yeah, but did you help it Robin teach it to fly? Did you help teach it to fly? Mm? Uh-uh. Into the sky. I watched it for a long while by the window. Probably about three or so days. In those three long days, the little Charmony dove tried again and again to spread its wings to fly into the sky, but fell to the ground, only to keep trying. You know why it matters? He kept trying. He had a dream and he kept trying to achieve it. Even if he didn't achieve his dream, he kept trying. Finally, on the 137th attempt... You're counting, you weirdo? Succeeded. See? But its attempt did not go perfectly. After flying unsteadily for a while, it fell to the ground, unable to grasp the direction of the air currents. It, 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 hey, I think it was a successful move. The fall shattered its wings. It writhed helplessly in my embrace. But it was all for naught, finally succumbing to a painful demise. Either way, it would have came to a painful demise. Our tender care our given love and hopes. They all became the inevitable push that sent it to its death. Well, you just were bad owners. Did you ever think about letting it try to fly around the room before you just let it into the wild? <laughs> I'm just saying, I just, I don't want to keep mentioning it, but... The choices we made. Okay, it sounds like you're just Next, skill issue. Let us head to the second decision. It sounds like a skill issue, if, if I had to it's be honest. The story of a dream chaser. This story happened when I was appointed as Bronze Melodia, a position exclusive to the Oak family. Charged with listening to the problems and vexations of dreamscape residents and providing them with the relevant guidance. 
It was during that period that I had the opportunity to hear voices from all corners of the dreamscape. Joy. Sorrow. Arrogance. Regret. The complex tapestry of human nature that formed the world. And I was fortunate to catch a glimpse of it. He was a dream chaser. And an illegal stowaway. Just like the rest of them, he came to Panacone in search of a better life. Except that, to most people, the price he paid... I suppose you could say it was everything. He told me, I sold everything I could at home. The house, the land, even his two children. Which is actually crazy. He said he could not afford to raise them. I don't that, care. At least they could eat if they lived as slaves. I, you know what? That I don't think is true. They're slaves. Like some people don't like. What, what do you mean? He had a plan in place. Well, whatever. Whatever. He would buy back his children. I don't care. I don't children. care. He's a terrible person. Enjoy Panacone's beautiful dream with them. Alas, his plan to smuggle himself was somewhat clumsy, and he was sniffed out by those pig-headed hounds. After hearing the Dream Chaser's story, I immediately appealed to the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. That way, at least he could live peacefully. But I was still too naive to the ways of the world. I did not anticipate that what I thought was a kind gesture would later lead to dire consequences. What happened? I'll tell you the outcome soon. Okay. For now. I'd like you all to make a choice. Of what? Will you do as I did and try to convince the Bloodhound family to stop their pursuit so that the Dream Chaser may live peacefully and realize his wishes? Or will you remain silent, leaving him to languish while the hounds are hot on his I want. I want this one. He deserves to go to prison. He, he, he deserves it. I look forward to everyone's decisions. Who knows? Perhaps they might even alter the outcome of this tragedy. Uh, because like selling your own two children, that's like crazy, man. Like I cannot even imagine. I don't care what situation you're in. Thinking that your children, selling your children is a better decision than just like trying to work a little bit harder is crazy to me. Illegal still he sold his kids to chase a dream. Even if he with that thought, there's only one choice. Yep. Let the bloodhound send the, him back home. Yep. This part I agree. What about you? This question, I'd probably choose to ask the bloodhounds to cease their pursuit. Okay, Firefly, I can't I can't talk to you about that. He sold his own two children. Dream chaser story. If I acted really, as a prince, I would probably ask the bloodhounds. To, but what okay. cruel repercussion would this choice result in? I think Sunday must have been deeply impressed by the limitations of the strong defending the weak through this incident. I don't agree. That's crazy. Himiko said that. I am actually have to go against Himiko. Like, I don't think I could. I could let a man, a man go if I convinced the bloodhounds. Like, he, he. I don't know. I just think that's crazy. You chose to stop it, really? I want to. Okay, I'm gonna do this one because for me, like. I genuinely can't get over like I I can't get over the fact that 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 that's that. I don't know. I don't even like kids like that, but I just cannot imagine selling your own two children to be slaves. They're not even guaranteed food or anything like that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the rebel. <laughs> I'm gonna be the, the, the minority in this, um, yeah. It seems you, like me, 
a pondering whether a different choice could have led to a better outcome. Sadly, his fate would only be more... Good! Tragic. He deserves it. <laughs> Say he never gets caught. Mm -hmm. He would only die from delirium. The methods with which illegal stowaways enter dreams are unorthodox. Not flawless like the hotels. Living in the dreamscape would be a mere pipe dream. Should he be apprehended? Could the hounds afford to turn a blind eye? The answer is a definitive no. They couldn't bear the resulting consequences, and thus wouldn't dare extend a helping hand. As to He doesn't choice, deserve a helping hand. I once again offer my heartfelt apologies. And the story this time is my own. Be good for you. This story happened the day I was appointed the Oak family. I think that one's much harder to think about. Time, because there's a lot of different factors in that one. Master, and, and it's 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 like a very um we weird one, I guess, like for because, like, a part of you is like, I feel bad for this man because he just wanted a better life and stuff like that. And his intentions were good, but his execution is just, you know, not it. <laughs> this story happens the day I was appointed an Oak family head. At the time, Mr. Gulf of Wood was the current Dream Master, and as per wish, we had a private what conversation. What surprised me was that the Dream Master had only come to deliver a letter to me. He let me read its contents, and it was a letter from my sister. The letter contained the usual pleasantries, anecdotes from her travels, nothing out of the ordinary. Just as I started wondering how this letter related to our discussion, the Dream Master began to speak. Do you know who wrote this letter? The Muffin Man is? My sister, of course. But why would you personally visit me to hand me a letter from my sister containing mere trivialities? To help you grasp the full scope of this issue. Do you know where Robin is at this moment? From what the letter indicates, she must be in Caspelina 8, correct? She's touring there right now. Correct. Has she mentioned anything about a stray bullet? Stray bullet? A stray bullet? What? A war has broken out on that planet. It is because of this very reason that Robin chose this destination. To spread the word of the harmony. And to save the lives of that planet. She personally made for the front lines. She hoped to ease the people's suffering with song. Aww. He was willing to brave mortal danger to deliver the IPC's medical supplies. As she should. Unfortunately, stray bullets show. Oh, no wait. Compassion. Is she all right? If the operation was successful, she should probably be recovering in the field hospital. By the eon above. The bullet struck her neck. That's cool. Oh, yes, is that why she can see? a reward for her consistent deeds of harmony. It didn't hit any vital arteries. Once you've attended to your outstanding tasks, it'd be advisable to write her back as soon as possible. That's great. You're telling me she couldn't. Wow. Those damn savages. I'll pack my bags right away. My gratitude for bringing this to my attention, Mr. Gopherwood. Now you understand why she always wears such elaborate neck ornaments. Oh. How could this happen? Miss Robin. It's all in the past, so please don't worry. I share this in the meager hope that you will understand the harmonies, limitations, and predicament. As grandiose as the strong defending the weak sounds, Many times. It is nothing more than wishful. Well, things. you're just not strong enough. Have you thought about that? I, hey, I'm just saying it's a little bit of a skill issue. Like, I mean, I've been fine this whole time. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Likewise. It's not that hard One to protect last people. Question. One last <laughs> choice. <laughs> but rest assured. That's actually crazy. She got hit in the neck. Grave consequences. 
Because this is merely a figment of imagination. A nightmare that has haunted me through countless nights. If you ever had the opportunity to make a choice like I did. Okay, what, what choice do we have? Still support Robin's journey on the path of harmony. Yes, I would. If that's what she wanted to do, I would support her. Can't believe that happened to Miss Robin. The strong. Oh, sh oh. Miss Robin's courage is in, but the fact that she's also Mr. Sunday's younger. No, I would still support her. I'm going to support her. I often feel like I've dreamt of similar scenes on certain nights. Their confusion and fear are lucid to me. But I also remember. Never gave up. If Mr. Sunday's question leaves you puzzled. You should find the answer from your own experience with each trailblaze. Oh, dangers and truth. He becomes so sweet. Surely follow. But would you ever back away? Nope. Would you stop March and Don Hung from reaching their next destination? Nope. I believe you have an answer of your own in your heart. I would let everyone talk to others to see what they think. I talk to everyone. Should I change my team before I do this boss? I don't know. But I think we'll be fine. Can't believe that happened. Okay. This one. Support Robin to go on with her journey. Yep. Make decision. <laughs> I see. I am now aware of everyone's stances. Raising these questions merely serves to illustrate one point. Okay. The plight of Penacone cannot be salvaged by the harmony. The true foundation for a sweet dream paradise can only be established through the order where the strong govern the weak. This is on too. The turmoil of losing your way, how sorrow and even despair set in when matters don't work out. All of this causes me unending pain because this is not what happiness is at all. Well, you can't have happiness without sadness. You would never know what happy means if you didn't. If you were never sad, am I? Am I right? Like, if you think about it. Or if he didn't have pain, you know? How to live a happy life. And this life isn't some noble propriety that the upper crust preaches. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. So what is your definition of living a happy life? Huh. Good question. Human consciousness is fundamentally an illusion. A cage known as self-worth. People lured in by this illusion make mistakes, yet still ask that external influences bear the burden. When one mistake after the next permeates the masses, they become impossible to trace. Thus, the amassing of these individual cages culminate to form a prison, a place dictated only by the rule of Survival of the fittest. Nature is always accompanied by predation and sacrifice. Its antithesis is known as order. That is what I want to do. Unite people's happiness under the banner of order. They won't need to make bitter choices any longer. 
North That's not happiness. Of humanity. No. I like having my choice. I like choosing what I do every day. If I choose every day to to be to go on to Overwatch and be sad, I should have that choice. <laughs> Simply describing thoughts is far too abstract. So allow me to provide a simple example. As you all may know, there are societal norms like weekends and long weekends that exist on some worlds. During these hard-earned rest days, people are given the chance to extricate themselves from the stresses of everyday life, allowing a certain tranquility to return to their souls. And it is only on these days that people do not have to adhere to the law where the strong prey on the weak. Not really true. They can live out their lives happily during these brief intermissions. It's just a pity that two or three days are still too fleeting compared to the span of a lifetime. Well, I mean, that's the whole point of a weekend. To relieve the stress and, you know, have free time. It's like, it's like as if, like, you know... The only reason why we have those rest days is so we, like, you know, we got to have like something to work towards, you know, it, it's, it's, we just were happy all the time. We wouldn't have to do anything. We would just be sitting there. In fact, society's ideal system should be seven rest days following Sunday. There should ensue a second, a third, and indeed an oh, Is that why your name's Sunday? Sundays. This should be the face of the new world. Oh. Idyllic, eternal, peaceful days. Whatever you say, Sunday. And thus, Whatever kind of, every you know. can return to their best <laughs> selves in this utopia. Some gaze in reverence at the stars, pouring their whole beings into calculating the distance between us and the isolated world of Pagana. Meanwhile, some seek refuge in quiet corners, holding one another unencumbered by the chains of unwelcome obligations. There would be no need to bear the hardships of reality. Only in this way can humanity face the inevitable end with the purest of spirit. Living a life of dignity. This is what it is to live in bliss. Miss Firefly. You, who are stricken with Entropy Loss Syndrome. You of all would surely understand this. <sighs> oh, I forgot about that. It sounds like a flawless theory. It, no, it, but it's not. <sighs> but... What is the price to attain all this? The cost is minute, merely a personal and eternal sacrifice. If this paradise is to be maintained for everyone, someone must remain trapped in solitary wakening until the end of the cosmos. Oh, is that happy for you? Wakening? Which means that this so-called paradise is still a dream. Stepping into this paradise means forsaking reality, correct? It is not forsaking, but transcending. Flesh, blood, sorrow, weakness. If the physical is the root of spiritual suffering, it is only logical that we defeat it. But in this supposed bliss, Ooh, people tell them. won't have defeated their demons. Mm -hmm. The chance to overcome their tribulations mm -hmm. is forever lost to them. Mm -hmm. In other words, it is an escape. You tell them, Firefly. That's another way of understanding it. It's the right way of understanding. No shame in escape. On the contrary, the seeds of escape exist in everyone's hearts. Don't you agree, Miss Firefly? And as to why we sleep. It is because we are afraid to awaken from our dreams. That's not really why we sleep. It's kind of for survival, but whatever you this say. Is not in conflict with the grand plan. Only in acknowledging this can we truly understand the frailty of human nature. And from there, 
show compassion and protection. I... I admit that you are a born leader. Your perspective on humanity brims with pessimism. Yet you express compassion for all. Even when your heart pities them. But unlike you, I live for the self. From my perspective, individuals making choices for themselves mm -hmm. is their birthright. Mm -hmm. The want to escape may be innate in the weak. But whether they are weak or not, it is not up to another to decide. Yeah. Perhaps in your mind, you also view me as weak. <laughs> because I don't think so. Since Miss Firefly has said her piece, the Astral Express will also naturally give you our answer. We'll leave it to you. Oh, Just don't worry. Mikhail instructed before. Tell him our choice. We know our choice. Is Firefly gonna help us in this? In this? Um. Is this? Oh, hi, Nisha. Oh, wait, I never noticed that he has a door. <gasps> He has a door lock or his like a keyhole for his eye, people. I never actually really looked at that. Damn. <laughs> but I was gonna say, um I wonder if Firefly is gonna be you know how every boss fight has like a little helper during it? I wonder if Firefly is gonna be the helper in this one. Does this place ring any bells, Misha? I I don't know. But I feel a sense of Deja vu. It's the realm within a dream bubble. This was left to the Astral Express by a nameless, but weirdly, when we entered it, it was completely empty. Is Misha like the key holder? Dr. Edward from the Dreamscape sales store told me that dreams are formed from memories, and a dream bubble can't take oh. shape if its core is empty. This is Mika's Misha's uh, dream so bottle. I thought. You might be able to help us in unraveling this mystery, Misha. As a hotel doorman, you know Penacone best among us. Hmm. I... I don't know much about dream bubbles. But if you want to figure out what this mansion is, I'll do my best. I'm counting on you then. Uh, Himeko, I still don't get it. Why were you so sure that Misha had a connection with this dream bubble? I wasn't sure. It was just a hunch. But since Misha feels familiar with this place... Is he like the son of M Mikkel? Correct. Exactly. This is where you and Firefly encountered death, which we now know as Dormancy. Considering its connection to Dreamflux Reef, it's not surprising it appeared here. The question now is, who brought you here? Based on the clues we have so far, it's unlikely to be that masked fool. So, identifying them is crucial. We're drawing closer to the truth once more. Let's give Misha some time, as I believe he'll unveil the secret of this. This is so long. All right, but there are doors all over the place. Which one should we choose? Do you have any idea, Misha? Hmm. I guess maybe this way uh, I'm not entirely sure but let's give it a try I like that he's running that's nice actually wait you managed to choose the right door on your first try weird this place is quite different from the hotel but i just junior how much longer like do i have of this do you think and even lived here for a while if i remember correctly there should be a fireplace down that hallway. Clocky and I used to sit by the fire. 
listening to the crackling of firewood. And, and the room on the other side was the toy room. I loved spreading out all the toys from the box on the floor and making up stories for each of them. That's so cute. Hold on. This doesn't make sense. Didn't I grow up in Dreamflux Reef? So, what is this place? This could be a case of amnesia. Don't worry, Misha. It's common for everyone to forget certain aspects of the past. Mm -hmm. Those memories haven't vanished. They're just lying in the depths of your mind. Since this place seems familiar to you, why don't we explore a few more rooms and see if you can recall anything more? Yeah, then let's check out the rooms I just mentioned. Um... Mikhail, that's the name? Now we all know him as the Watchmaker, so who is he talking to? Do you know anything about it, Misha? I'm sorry, I don't know much about the Watchmaker, but Mikhail... Anything special about that name? Mikhail <gasps> is... Is his grandpa's, grandpa's name. name! Grandpa? Do you mean you're the Watchmaker's grandson? But we haven't heard anything about the Watchmaker having descendants. That's true. And the name Mikhail is not rare. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. No, he has to be the grandson. Can you tell us more about your grandpa, Mikhail? Yeah, sure. He was a seafarer who fearlessly ventured into mysterious seas and storms. He was always on the sea and had lots of friends who accompanied him on his travels. He didn't want me to call him Grandpa because that would make him sound old. He believed he was still young. The name Mikhail was given to him by his parents, Mahaley and Elise, both renowned seafarers. Every time he came back, he'd share his logbook with me and tell me about his adventures at sea. <sighs> I want to become a great adventurer just like him. It appears that the seafarer has nothing to do with the water. No, I think it. I think so he's covering just himself. A coincidence? No. So where is your grandpa now? He went off on a new journey, and it's been quite a while since I last saw him. Yeah, he might be dead. I'm gonna be straight up with you, Misha. So, where has Clocky gone? Did he leave to protect Dreamville? I heard some noises from the room. Origami bird? That's a friend of mine. You and... Yeah. It's a member of the Compass crew. Uh, just like Clocky and Miss Mirror. And there's more than just one origami bird. They are a big family with lots of brothers and sisters who look the same. They follow Miss Mirror's orders and handle all sorts of jobs on the ship. They're the best sailors. Sailors? Can origami bird... Could you tell us more about the compass, Misha? The compass is a ship bound for hmm. the new world. Clocky oh. and his crew travel from the layers of fog to the depths. Everything is told to him in code. The, the compass is supposed to be the express. Guide the ship in the right direction. Oh. That's a great story. But in the Panacone cartoon, Clocky and his partners have always lived in Dreamville. And never ventured out, right? Huh? Oh, that does seem weird. I, I clearly remember. Clocky arrived in the new world, and <laughs> perhaps Clocky has a hidden past. I think I hear the sound of water. You once mentioned there's a magnificent fountain up ahead. I think it's because his grandpa used everything in code word for the express and stuff. That's why Misha doesn't remember it. And he probably sealed away oh, um, Misha's memories in order for us to find him later on. The water resembles a precious jewel 
embedded in the dreams of all seafarers. Every time I gaze at the shimmering lights beneath the waves, it feels as though I'm back in this place, standing by your side. Have you recalled anything, Misha? Yeah. I saw these sentences in Grandpa's logbook. He used to say that despite the perils of the sea, whenever he... After you go through all of this with Misha, then... Oh, okay, okay. The Thank you. Waves, he would think of this fountain in front of his house. He often said that those moments felt like returning to his family's side. And the difficulties at sea didn't seem quite as challenging. Uh, you know, I quite understand such sentiments. Hey, don't tease! I was just being a bit sentimental. Perhaps every adventurer far from home carries a fountain within their soul. Even though the other side of the sea remains shrouded in the unknown, the fountain in front of his house serves as a compass, leading him back to his cherished one. Yeah, well, Grandpa was at home back then. Oh, whoops, sorry. I would Place toy boats in a pool, okay. I would ask him when I could go on adventures like him, and he would always laugh and say I was still too young. Uh, it seems this Mikhail is truly a seafarer and has nothing to do with the watchmaker. Uh, March, I think that you're kind of dumb and not getting the story. Yeah. But that's just me. Based on Misha's recollections, the scenes in the dream bubble appear to be his childhood memories. But this raises more questions. According to Misha, he was clearly born on an oceanic planet and led an ordinary life. With no connection could this be some sort of metaphor Perhaps yeah that it took you that long to the memory zone i'm sorry i don't know but my memories keep pouring out uncontrollably like water flowing from a fountain perhaps i'll i'll remember more burden We're going to the opposite side, right? No. We should turn left here. Uh-huh. Something feels... different about this place. This is it. I remember this corridor. Up ahead is... Grandpa's study. It was in that room that I... Saw him the last time. Ready? Oh my gosh. There's so many voices. The atmosphere in this room feels totally different. Misha! You finally come! Clocky! You're here! Huh. Yeah. Are those books on the bookshelf log books left behind by that seafarer? Yeah. Whenever he came back, he placed a log book on the bookshelf in his room. They contain records of he described our world as a fountain. At some point, the sea started to gradually swallow up the land where people lived to ensure that everyone had land to settle on. He had to continue exploring the sea and search for the source of the rising seawater. On that day, he called me to his study, telling me that he was embarking on another journey. However, I could sense the gravity in his expression. It... It was the same look I had seen on my father's face before his final voyage. I asked him if I could go with him, but he said that my adventure lay elsewhere mm -hmm. and told me to stay home and patiently await a certain sound at the door. What sound? He told me about a vast ocean in the sky, an ocean of stars. He spoke of a train that transports children with a desire to venture far away. 
Crossing the sea of stars without ever stop. He said that he knew the crew on the train, and that he had asked them to take me along. He said the journey I had always dreamed of. <gasps> Is Misha going to be joining us on the Astral Express? A train? Could it be? It's, it's the Astral Express. I, I remember now. Grandpa's friends are a group of nameless who came to this world to resolve a disaster caused by a star. Then, he gave his pocket watch to me. It was his cherished treasure, appearing in every one of his adventure tales. He explained that difficult times were ahead, but assured me that the watch would guide me. He said, as long as I kept moving forward, I'd eventually reach my desired destination. And then, it was as if I heard the distant sound of a train echoing throughout the room. Exactly, Misha! And then we followed that whistle, did we? Yeah. Sorry, you're talking. This is the dream jigsaw, right? So we're supposed to find. Do you remember? You said you obtained a mysterious shard when you stumbled in. Oh, hey, the shape seems to match. So this looks like we're just one step from revealing the truth. Well, okay, give me a second. Uh, I thought I was uh, supposed to check the things out on. Oh, am I? I'm just supposed to, yeah. Okay, I got you guys. Then there's like a hand that goes like right here. And then there's the end of the painting right there. And then the corner of the painting right there. This is it. This is my room of clocks. While I spent my time waiting for Grandpa to return from his voyage, Walter gave me this workshop. And it became my secret base here. I hmm. learned how to repair clockwork and gears. Interesting. Out of my fondness of precision mechanics. In my dreams, I was the captain of the compass. Oh, oh what is so cute. With my companions, Clocky and Miss Mirror. In search of the new world, I... I was born and raised here. So, this building in the dream bubble is your childhood home yes but not exactly to be more precise this dream bubble itself is my home <laughs> looks like you've remembered everything wait wait why does it feel like everyone else knows something i don't you're just dumb march march do you remember when she mentioned the clocky that only she could see? Yeah, the little guy here, right? But we all saw him in Dreamflux Reef, right? And Mr. Yang even greeted him. Looks like everyone on the Astral Express has a childlike spirit. The answer lies in the Astral Express. Her experience shows that neither Firefly nor Acheron can see this clocky. And when we were in Dreamflux Reef, you may have noticed that for some reason, nobody outside of the crew had ever talked with Clocky. A mimetic life that can only be seen by a select few. Aww. It's just like a hidden message left by someone for the nameless. But Misha can see Clocky too, right? He's a nameless. We even grew up together. But Misha hasn't started the way of the trailblaze yet. Yet. That's the key to the mystery, March. Now, take a moment to recall. Have you ever seen anyone outside of the crew interact with Misha? Uh, wait. Uh, no way! That's the answer, March 7th. Aww. This bubble is the place where I was born. And I... I'm a dweller in this dream, just like a memory zone meme. Aww. I should have stayed here and waited for you. But when reality and memories merged, 
I unconsciously pushed open that door and left the bubble with Cla- So it's not that the Watchmaker's dream bubble is empty, but rather the stuff inside ran away and the whistle you heard was the sound of the express arriving at Pentacony? That's one way to see it, but I believe there's a longer story behind all this. It's best for Misha himself. Hi, Jade. Thank you for hydrate. Jade. Hi, sleep. Mom is all. I <laughs> got some home from work. How how is work? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the story. I've I think I'm almost done. How it, kinda. about we start with your name? Now should we call you Misha? Or thank you all for helping me rediscover my Oh yourself. is this just a younger version of Mikkel? I was born on Lushaka in the Prismere oh. system. Adopted He's so sleepy. <laughs> he was tired and all. They gave me a treasure. A name. Oh? They carried their hopes. Mikhail Char Legwork. Oh. Simply. Misha. Ah, oh, yeah. If you prefer, you can call me by a more familiar name. The Watchmaker. The watchmaker. So, you're the Watchmaker himself? Unfortunately, that legendary figure is no more. I am only a reflection of his life. As for the child who has been with you, he's the innocent protagonist of Misha's childhood dream. New yeah, shower bulbs. Thank you. A young apprentice. Hopefully, you can relax a little bit after Thank work now. Get some food for yourself too and stuff. And this also marks the beginning of his journey, devoted to the trailblaze. At the, the end, end of the, the journey, journey, I left this little life, flame, which I so, so cherished, cherished in, in my, my deepest, deepest dreams. Ooh, pasta. Hoping, hoping to, pass to pass it on, on to the nameless of future, of future generations. generations. However, he somehow left the dream bubble and forgot, forgot all about, about his task. I apologize for all the confusion this caused. <laughs> because he was born with a desire to trailblaze, wasn't he? I don't think Misha has forgotten his role as a guide. He remembered it, and that's why he mistakenly appeared as a hotel doorman in her <laughs> dream from the very beginning. Yeah. The one who brought our unconscious friend here must have been Misha. If that's the case, we encountered the Watchmaker's legacy from the beginning, didn't we? Well, I have a sarcastic friend who says I always take big detours and end up back where I started. Perhaps that's what every nameless has to go through. But in the end, you found me. I'm sure you're all wondering what my legacy is. I believe my hound has mentioned the Stellaron and my wealth. If I may apologize, the Stellaron part is real. As for my wealth, however, we don't need wealth. Just meeting you is an honor, you know. I left my homeland as a child and embarked on the journey of Trailblaze. I traveled to various planets until finally reaching Asdana, where my friends and I built the original Pentacony. Oh. And fought for its future ever since. I've been moving forward all my life, doing what I could to overcome the obstacles in my path. But ultimately, my journey reached its end, and I left behind no possessions worth entrusting. So, if you ask what's left within this worn out train engine that can be called a legacy, I suppose it's the things that are still burning in the engine's furnace. 
Now that you're well aware of the current situation of Penicone, I certainly hope that you'll help me get this world back on track. But I'll leave that decision to you. Don't worry. The path of Trailblaze is never paid. Yeah. All I have for you is a story and two gifts. Gifts? You don't have to. I want to give you my pocket watch. No way. Me throughout my long journey, it's too sweet of you. Guiding that naive child forward. And has been blessed with the okay. presence of I'm gonna be right so back. Um sorry to put you on a cliffhanger, but uh I have food arriving, so I'll be right back.
Oh, sorry, Toto. I'm back. Okay. And my hat, too. Your hat, too? The one who navigated for me placed it on my head and planted a fanciful thought in my mind. The trailblazing expedition will never end. Yes. Now, it's time for you to make your choice. Once you I already made my choice, mind, don't worry. Open that door. And, and enter the, the long dream, dream of an old man. man. I'll be waiting for you at the end of this corridor of time. All right, everyone. Let's make a decision. Although I don't think anyone will have any objections. Mm-hmm. Of course. We've come this far. Surely there's no other option than moving forward. In that case, it's unanimous. Then let's proceed together to the end of this dream and tell Mikhail our decision. I'm ready. Sunday, you ready to get beaten up? <sighs> Mikhail, where are you going? Someone has to step up and save Lushaka. So why can't it be me, Misha? Please don't go. And if you must, please take me with you. Don't leave me alone. Even without me, you know how to proceed forward, brave Captain Misha. The compass. Now go. Oh, oh. Board that train and start your journey. Where are you going, Mikhail? I, I'm going to clean the floor in the parlor car. I promised the conductor. Wait, first tell me, did you fix this watch? Um, yeah. I know what it looked like before. Its chain was broken, the back case torn, and the marks on the dial all worn out. How did you manage to fix it? Well, uh, it's hard to explain, but I knew it could be fixed. It's the hands, Mr. Amundsen. Its hands were intact and pointing in the right direction, so I knew there would be a way to fix the rest. <laughs> I see. You'll work with me from now on. Haven't you always wanted to? But, but I only know how to fix watches. Oh, what do you say? You work for with me from now on. Have you always um wanted to tinker? Huh. Don't worry. You've got what it takes. I'll teach you what you need to know. Where are you going, legwork? It's time to head to our next stop. <sighs> I... I'm staying in Astana with Rosalina and Tiern. Sorry, back. <laughs> I see. This place reminds you of home. The people of Astana have only achieved a tiny victory and still have a long way to go towards true freedom. A new Don't worry. Not all journeys lead to the stars. Even if I leave the express, our path of trailblaze will continue. <laughs> yeah. I knew you wouldn't stay on the express forever. Leave in peace, my friend. And, uh, take this with you. This is Mr. Amundsen's hat. But why? When he departed, he said he would leave it to his best student. Well, I suppose the time has come. 
Farewell, legwork. Take care of Tiernan and Rosalina. And don't forget to... write to us. Where are you going, Watchmaker? Don't worry, Micah. Just going on a little trip. Someone has to be at the forefront of the interstellar frontier, and I'm the only former nameless in Fanaconi. So why can't it be me? Because you're all we have. Have you forgotten about Tiernan? The but what will happen to Penaconi if we don't find a way out? Ah, Tiernan. How could I ever forget him? I've spent countless sleepless nights asking myself why I didn't go with him back then. We nameless won't stop. Don't worry, Micah. It's just a matter of getting back to my old profession. Just wait for me to come back. But if, and it's a big if, if I don't come back in one piece, then you'll become the next watchmaker. Mm. Where are you going, old man? Oh, you're here. Answer my question. What are you up to? Relax, Gallagher. I just came up with a great idea. Wanna hear it? Oh, come on! Aren't all your ideas just ways to get yourself killed? I may be blunt here, but you're the last remaining hero in Penaconi. If you die too, the, the secret of the Stellaron will go to the grave with you. Yes. I'm afraid there's no way out in Penaconi, so I'll have to consider alternatives beyond Asdana. Hmm. We'll organize a festival using the Watchmaker's legacy as a facade. Interesting. And invitations to the entire cosmos to gather people here. So... A desperate struggle against the family? Desperate? <laughs> Don't we have you here, my friend? This task is challenging, but what hasn't been challenging for us along the way? Well, whatever you do, remember. Make sure to send an invitation to the Astral Express. Misha! It's you, Clocky. Take me to Dreamflux Reef. Last night, I had a long dream about the day we met. I want to write down that dream. Mm -hmm. Write it down? Why? Oh, so I won't forget it. Do you remember? How you got your name, Clocky? Of course! You told me that when you were a kid, you lived in a room full of clocks. Those wall clocks and pocket watches grew up with you and were your best friends. Yes, but what I didn't mention was there's a funny misunderstanding behind it. Okay. Good night, Alex. <laughs> I was a kid, and there was always a special pocket watch in my memories. It was with my grandpa. Now you're supposed to go to bed like hours ago? Him on his sea voyages and leading the way in his. <laughs> Happened to go in bed early. Story. I wanted to have a pocket watch like that too. And that's when you appeared <laughs> in my dreams. Wait, I can't. You get on my case about staying up late. I, I can't get on your case about lying. <laughs> the lies that you tell me. Every night, we boarded the 
compass and set sail together. But you know what? It wasn't until the day my grandma gave it to me that I realized. What was it? It wasn't a pocket watch at all. It was oh. a compass. Yeah, that's a big mistake to make. So, your name should have been Compassy. Compassy. <laughs> and the that's a terrible name. It's just a nameless. <sighs> We've arrived at Dream Flux Reef. So, where to next? You know, Clocky, I don't think... I'll be going anywhere else. Yeah, Clocky, I think I'm gonna be disappearing forever. Please wait a sec. Oh, whoops, I didn't even mean to press that. I'm ready for death. I've traveled far enough, and it's time for a little break. Oh, so we'll set out again when you're rested? No, Clocky, it's gonna be no more. <laughs> no, I'll stay here. And then this is where it ends. This is where it ends? Yeah. What do you mean, Misha? Don't make me cry told me that the trailblazing expedition would never end. Yeah, that's what I said. I lied to you, Clocky. So now, it's up to you to decide your next destination. <sighs> My next destination? What's that supposed to be? I've been following you. Misha? <laughs> You're acting weird today. <laughs> if you're feeling down, we can just do what we usually do <laughs> with the clockwork. <laughs> no, I, I'm not feeling down. As for clockwork, yeah, it resolves all problems in this dream. So. Do you know what clockwork actually is? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Okay, Clocky. We have all day. Well, everyone gets lost at times. Mm -hmm. You may hesitate and doubt which way to go. That happens in this dreamscape and beyond. But don't worry. Everyone goes through moments of uncertainty and hesitation. Eventually, they gather the courage to make bold decisions. Whether it's calming, joyful, angry, or, or sad, all they need is a little nudge to take that step toward where they truly belong. I'm leaving that little nudge with you, and I hope you'll share it with others. You're so sad. Such is the essence of clockwork. The will of the trailblaze. <laughs> oh, it's Clocky's a cutscene. Hands spin around non-stop, indicating confusion, frustration, and weakness. Is this how we get our harmony? People still need to move forward. Just, Just like, like your hands. Always pointing ahead. <laughs> this is where my journey ends. Aww. From now on, it is your path to walk. Look at us! Let's go! Clock is about to pop off with us. Venturing even further. The Panaconian Mikhail's dreams does not belong to order. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Who is she? She's gorgeous! What? 
Wait, what? Stream, stop dying! We're, we're... Leon would cast a glance at Penacony at a time like this. Is it because of the resonance from the legacy of the Trailblaze? Or perhaps the bond between you is so strong that it even impresses an Eon? Oh, give it a second. The stream's dying. Come on, at the most important part, at the coolest part, you start dying? Is that the Eon of, of Harmony? Ooh, interesting. Well, there might be another possibility. Perhaps they want to witness, on behalf of the Fallen Eons, who will hold the future of Penacony. If that's the case, on behalf of the Dream Master of Penacony and the 107,336 members of the Oak family, I'm extending <laughs> a formal invitation to all of you. Yeah, let's put them up. Cordially inviting you all to the Penacony Grand Theater to participate in the upcoming Charmony Festival. I'm ready. And of course, you won't be in the audience, but on center stage. Since the future of the Stellaron, Penacony, and even the entire cosmos is at stake, let's draw a conclusion there. In all fairness, if you Bug truly you. believe in Akavili's path. Mm -hmm. Show me their courage and determination. I'll show you. Right here, right now. But you're too afraid of me, that's why. I'm so excited to build Harmony Trailblazer, though. Ooh. Ah! Look at that! Finally, we have a new path! Let's go! Oh, you can trial it! <gasps> Yippee! Yeah, sorry, now I'm distracted. I, I should do this afterwards. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll do this real quick and then we'll go back to story. Because it's been like... <laughs> Please stay tuned. Ah, look how cute I am! Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. She's so cute! We need a strategy. Bam! I love it. Look at her! Look at her! You tried, you tried and twitched it like, oh my gosh, I've always been sabotaged. Enemy targets detected. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Stay in step. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. <laughs> oh, catch up. Ow. Take your position. Like a good my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves. Dreams do come true. And then we use her alt. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Oh, this is so cute! That's oh, that's exactly. adorable. It ain't over. By the order of the Ten Lord, execute the Marastruck! I'm in love. I love this. I love this trailblazer. It's adorable. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she did a lot. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to build her. I'm so excited. Ooh. Oh, probably the clocky one, right? Maybe this one? We'll have to see. Well, we'll do this later. Okay, you guys, you ready? Sorry, I got excited about something. Does that mean he wants to fight us during the Charmony Festival? I'm afraid so. This is weird. Aren't Ark villains usually plotting some dirty conspiracy in the end? But he actually said something like, In all fairness, could it be that he's underestimating us? Well, in my opinion, Sunday is deeply committed to his own philosophy. Yeah, very Anyone deeply. To prove that the order is right. Which is not. 
I sense a strong <laughs> conviction All good. and a desire for I can tell when, when you guys mean caps or not. You don't, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Unless he wins fair and square. Because sometimes I'll accidentally leave caps on and be like, oh, shoot, That's I didn't mean to. <laughs> he'll give it his all in the upcoming battle. I'm ready. Let me add him. We won't back down either. Yeah, you're right. We've even dealt with a Lord Ravager of the Destruction. So I dealt with it. Won't be a big deal. I dealt with it, March. Anyway, we can't leave the Stellaron unchecked. This is about trailblazing mm -hmm. a bright future for Penacony and fulfilling Mikhail's and his predecessor's long cherished wishes. Now that we've taken up the mantle, we can't afford to fail them. However, the same applies to the Order. Their plan didn't materialize overnight. And they have the profound collective consciousness of the planet of festivities behind them. The desire to dream. To slumber and escape reality. All those hidden emotions have given birth to the sweet dream of the Order. I'm still doing the story as don't look close your eyes close your eyes close your ears <laughs> harnessed to the will of an entire planet to create an eon this confrontation is far more complicated than a simple power struggle oh you did this you okay 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 that's good I didn't know how far you went okay fighting on the stage alone is not enough what do you mean are you not coming with us? I believe Firefly is trying to say that she's heading off to another battle. Good luck with that battle. Mm -hmm. Before I left, the Destiny Slave told me that this journey would bring unforgettable rewards. Even though the script he gave me only had a few lines, I couldn't ignore them. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the boss fight. I've seen the boss fight just from the trailer, but I won't. I, maybe there's something else that'll pop up. I'll experience death three times in the land of dreams. Huh? Three times? This can't be serious, right? The first time was a painful death when I was stabbed by the Blade of Dormancy, which led to all subsequent events. The script will always come true. But in a way that will only be revealed when that page is turned. So now I've understood the meaning of my second death. And I am prepared to face it. If all goes well, my efforts will provide crucial support for you. Only by achieving victory in this battle, can we secure a future for Penacony? I appreciate your sacrifice, and only Firefly. Then, my third and final death won't come true in the most terrible form. The most terrible form? Does that mean... The true death. Where everyone in Penacony loses themselves completely in the eternal sweet dream of the order we must do everything we can to prevent that <clears throat> have you made up your mind firefly yes otherwise i wouldn't be here thank you again for your assistance for the astral Express. thank you firefly may we meet again in reality next time don't yeah. try to beat me up in your robot suit or whatever yeah. Uh, yeah, that was kind of, you know, strange, but, you know. Never end. <laughs> oh! <sighs> I dreamed of a scorched earth. Everyone, are you ready? Mm -hmm. A new sprouted from the earth. It bloomed in the morning sun. She's having a magical girl transformation. Look at her. Like fireflies to a flame. My feet is dead. May we meet again in reality. Bye, bye Firefly slash Sam. <clears throat> Ugh. 
After today, Japella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not too distant future, you'll receive an invitation. That's your next stop. Land of the dreams. Panacone. I hope you find whatever you seek there. Be it answers or salvation. <laughs> you mean my three deaths? Silverwolf told me about it. It's such a shame that it's not part of my script. Okay, Blade, we get it. You want to die, but like she doesn't. Like, come on, man. You don't have to like say that. <laughs> To live. Yeah, see? <laughs> I'm never afraid of death. <laughs> oh my gosh, he doesn't- You know what? That's fair that you seek death. Eternal life, and that Blade, but like... <laughs> that's something I'll never desire. People die. And I am- Like, there's a time and place Blade, you know? <laughs> death is like a script. A fate that cannot be defied. But that's exactly why we have to choose where we want to rest forever. Do you exist just to perish? Are you not the same, Blade? The end you desire is not one dictated by others. If I were to die now, I would only be a weapon. No. I believe I should die as a human. Though its definition escapes me, isn't this the answer that ordinary people look for their whole lives? A name that can be carved onto their tombstone. A tombstone that belongs to me once bore the inscription Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Then it changed to Stellaron Hunter. I wonder how the Stellaron Hunters were decided. <clears throat> it will bear the name Firefly. And all the brilliance she showed at the end of her life. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Where are you at? Put him up, That's Sunday. Quite unexpected, old man. Who would have thought your crazy plan would actually work? Do all you nameless fools just act on a whim? It's not a whim. He had it all planned out. You just didn't believe in him, Gallagher. I can sense that this false <clears throat> dream is coming to an end. The nameless may be young, but they had the ability to achieve this goal. Just like you did in your time. It's a shame you won't be able to see it firsthand. Maybe I won't either. Once something fictional is seen through, it ceases to exist. Is he just not real? Yeah. Not just those nameless. Even Mr. Wings is just like you. Stubborn. Won't listen or give up, no matter what. Well, fate is unpredictable, I guess. If we weren't bound by those cursed paths, Maybe we could have had some good talks, but in the end, we managed to do it. And now we can find solace. Remember how those idiots cursed us? They said, go to hell, you worthless traitors. <laughs> well, I don't know if they really meant it, but... If longing for freedom means going to hell, then I'll be joining you soon, you fool. Why are you yelling at him? He's dead. Let's get together and have supper again in hell. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's one more thing. Here's to you. A glass of hello and goodbye, trailblazer. To the imperfect tomorrow. Thank you, Gallagher. <clears throat> it's warm here. Isn't oh. You're lucky to have found shelter from the rain. Let alone fresh berries in this desolate place. 
I was just following the scent of life. It's particularly strong in a place like this. It's a shame these berries don't have much flavor. Seriously? In case you didn't know, this fruit is pretty juicy. The only downside is that when you chew it, it becomes extremely spicy. <clears throat> Have you lost your sense of taste? <clears throat> I can still taste certain things, like a faint sweetness. Before coming here, I stopped by a place called Orkron. Orkron. Barren cliffs, <clears throat> nights lit by bonfires. Burgundy snow would fall from the sky, and when it landed on my tongue, it tasted like raspberries. Raspberry snow? Like you get free snow cones just from the air? Like like from the like weather? The flavor wasn't exactly sweet, but it left a lasting impression. When I think back on my past, I realize that. What's tying everything together isn't the big events, but rather these small yet unforgettable moments. Don't worry about it. Losing oneself is a reality that every self-annihilator must face. At least I haven't completely lost my senses and memories yet. Well, congratulations on adding another footnote to your journey. By the way, are you always alone? No, I had a companion in Orkron. She's a short, nameless girl who aspired to explore IX. Oh. She always said she'd walk a path deeper and farther than Akavili's. <laughs> Quite an ambition for such a small girl. So, uh, what happened? She... became stagnant water. Well... My condolences. Condolences? I don't need them. The girl left with a smile. She never regretted her choice and most definitely won me to say goodbye with a smile. So, that's what I did. That's proof that you're grieving for her. Or, perhaps I'm just afraid. Afraid? I rarely sense that emotion from you. What do you fear? I'm afraid I'll forget the 30 days I spent with her. Aww. Just like all the other days in my life. I'm so sad. Most of them have already washed away with the rain, disappearing into an unseen realm. I fear that those vivid red memories will fade away too. There isn't much color left. And besides this faint warm red, there's almost nothing. Hard to imagine. A ranger accustomed to bloodshed, destruction, and chaos finding warmth in the red color. Because I have experienced this warmth many times. Long ago, I promised someone that I'd bring it to more people. And that for every remaining moment of my life, I'd strive for a better ending for all. As long as this red color still lingers. I have a chance to fulfill that promise. It represents... So when are we gonna get to this fight, you know? This, this is very emotional. I get it. And life itself what? Fleeting yet no, just, 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 when are we gonna you know, like, do that fighting? In the end, it will lead me beyond the horizon of existence. I'm cut off in the hill. And on the other side, I will... Cut off my hillity. <laughs> The one blessed by the sleeping and shapeless is considering how to kill them. That's truly pure nihility. But you're right about one thing. After spending so much time near this stagnant water, only when I look at this vibrant red fire... And I'm still alive, okay. Ever stop. Perhaps, when the sorrows of the departed have finally... Yeah, it is longer than the last one. The sky this old man needs to speak a little bit faster. Oh, thank you.
What do you mean four system hours until the, just let me fight? We were right there. I was right there. <laughs> let me fight. Have you heard of a planet <laughs> named Biari Scamandros? Oh. It's one of the paradise kingdoms under the influence of the harmony. A sought after wonderland for the inhabitants of the Dardanu major and minor systems. Half an amber era ago, the family held an unprecedented festival there. And after that, everyone on the planet became part of the family. Do you think the same thing will happen on Penacony? Wait, what were you saying, Black Swan? It happened to the. It was one of Paradise's other influence. Saw a Wonderland inhabitants. Half an amber ago, the family held an unprecedented festival there, and after that, uh, became a part of the family. Oh, okay. Yes. How else can we explain it? The family deliberately used the Watchmaker's mm. invitation to keep all the Pathstriders here, but banished the Emanator of the Nihility. Because of the Nihility, I'm rarely affected by the power of other paths, but somehow I can unconsciously infiltrate them. Maybe that's the risk they're trying to avoid. I would disagree. Bioris Commandros is not part of the credit system or connected to the Silver Rail. It's nothing more than a remote civilization sheltered by the Harmony. But Panacone is different. If the family messes with Panacone, that would be like declaring war on almost half of the factions in the cosmos. They have no reason to do that. No, they don't. If they truly serve the harmony, that is. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The path in Panacone is impure. The harmony here has impurity. Do you remember the ancient swarm disaster? Tazeron, the propagation. I need you to talk a little bit for Okay, eventually evolved into a fist battle of my chaos. I'm saying some war. propagation in the order. And since so the downfalls were the certain aeons. Mm -hmm. Legend has it that they crusade amongst the against the Imperator insect. Uh huh. For Garoni. For so Garoni. You're saying that the two leaderless paths are working behind the scenes. But I don't see any descendants of the propagation in Penacone. Could it's it Sunday be himself. That the remnants of Beyond the Sky Choir are hiding within the family, trying to resurrect a fallen eon. I can't say for sure. But they're definitely This is getting way too complicated. Is this why you want us to leave Astana right away? Are you giving up? The Charmony Festival will start soon. There's one thing that I need to confirm no matter what. A warp jump is the best way to do so. Mm. Time is running out. I have another plan. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> why? On. Are you thinking... Using the <gasps> what? Of allying oath. Oh no way! You're telling me that the Jing Wen's gonna come in and then slash Sunday up? Exactly. The assistance from the lawful Cloud Knights would be. Enough. I see you. Think it over carefully. You can only use that once in your lifetime. I'm sure we can get another one. It'll be fine. I have considered it thoroughly. My companions are oh. once in a lifetime treasures. Oh, that's so sweet, Dong Hung. Oh, am I ready to fight? Let me fight. Let me at him. Let me at Oh my gosh. Th three system hours, 30 minutes, whatever. <laughs> Let me at him. Are you the only one here? The Nameless is quite the diplomat. Our secrets have spread like wildfire within the family. And IPC starships are gathering towards Astana. This is a crucial moment for us. So, where is the Chosen One who harmonizes the varied sounds? <laughs> What do you mean, Master? I'm right here in front of you, aren't I? 
You know, she was supposed to be the star of the Charmony Festival in our plan. But the plan has changed. Oh! As her brother, I... I know she doesn't want to sing for the Order. So I'll take her place. Oh, okay. Pop off, I guess. Hmm. You've always been wise beyond your years. I'm sure you understand the consequences of your choice. If you consider this a betrayal... Well, there can't be two suns in the sky. I'll step up and take down the other sun if necessary. Oh! Do you believe in karma? <laughs> if karma exists, then everyone has their own karma. You have yours, and I have mine. And my karma has nothing to do with you. Mr. Gopherwood. Hmm. All right. Since you're willing to sacrifice yourself for her, I'll grant your wish. Well, the compromise came sooner than expected. Why? You and your sister were born as twins of the Order. And one of you is destined to follow this path to the end. Okay, yep, yep. Is part of your it's plan? Yep. Yeah, I can I can say your voice. Uh your clever on your channel. You can stand go to matches blah 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 blah. Karma, karma, karma. Hurry up, hurry up. Stop yapping, you little bird. One final question, Master. Why did you all these questions the order to Penacony? Wouldn't it have been better to choose a desperate world instead of a city filled with hope and dreams? Why this one? It's for justice, my child. What justice? If we lose justice in our hearts, you just say things. Uh, whatever. It's not you who manipulates the dreamscape with the Stellaron, but the Stellaron manipulates. That's where our conversation ends. Okay. Go ahead. The one hundred seven. Okay, whatever you say, little bird. What are you gonna sing, Sunday? Oh! Good, it's dead. I shall ascend to the heavens, becoming the scorching sun, bathed in my light. My people shall flourish, while all evil shall be eradicated. What are you gonna sing? Maybe some some new jeans? This is the or or, the Penicone Grand or some Theater. some some. Oh, it's quite exhilarating to be flushed into the air by Soul Glad, but why is the venue still closed when the Charmony? And not only that. The entire thing it's fine can we just go in I want to fight quiet. no on yeah I wonder if let's get the let's no no let's just go in I'm ready to fight I, I'm ready to fight <laughs> please just let me fight I'm itching for it. I've been I've been asking for like a whole like two hours to like fight you know The atmosphere here is so creepy and unsettling. Even if there's no audience yet, there should be some staff around. Why is it so silent? <laughs> He's pointing this way. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Yikes, they scared the light. I all live, hi Jay. How are you guys? Puppets at the ticket office. M Marge, behind you. Wh what? Ugh, you're so annoying. You're How so annoying. Me? Are these puppets part of the stage setup? Did you just and get so, up, Jay? It's so eerie. Er, er. The entire front hall is empty.
something feels off. We're in the right place, right? Yeah, <laughs> I guess you're getting ready for work. So Sunday's messing with us? He said we'd have a final showdown on the stage, but why is there no one here? My apologies oh. for the delay, March 7th. You scared me! Where are you now? I'm waiting for you behind the curtain. Following the I'm ready to hear you sing. I invite you to enjoy a stage play in three acts before the festival begins. History is a mirror reflecting the universe. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Let me fight you. Opportunity to delve into the rich history, history of Pentecost. Is... Okay, okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, just stop talking. Wars, Let me beat you up, man. And chaos consumes. <laughs> I want to fight. Anna, the order emerged. Destined to restore all existence. That oh, hi, lady. the first day. Whoa, that's a big stage. Oh, well, this place that is huge. Them into picks, thus creating a grand lyre with black and white keys. Strike the white keys, and the sun rose. Strike the black keys, and the moon rose. The puppets are gathering around the frame. Are they expecting us to enter it? Yep, let's go in. Oh! Just let me fight him! How much do we have to go through just to fight this man? Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, March. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Let's just go. Let's go. Looks similar. Uh, this let's just go. Ode to let's go. Let's go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Please. I genuinely wish to avoid a violent clash with my esteemed guests from afar. Well, you're not going to avoid it. I'm ready to beat you up. I've arranged three acts before this Um, how do I get there? Irreparable. What do you mean irreparable? I'm ready to fight you. Well, let's start with the time when Penicone was still a frontier prison. I could probably figure this out, surely. Oh, I probably should have read more. Okay. Oh, I just have to move it. This game. In 2147 AE, a prisoner named Hanun ignited a struggle for liberty and emerged triumphant. Justice for all. IPC referred to it as the War of the Frontier, while the Asdanians dubbed it the War of Independence. Sorry. I was being offered food again. But I was like, I'm I'm good. Do I just what does this do? Wait, stop it. How Okay, do we just move it? And Sunday I have beef now. You're making me... It's its getting bad. You're making me run all over the place. It, it, it's it's, it's going to make me hero, go insane. But it must be acknowledged that while he bestowed freedom upon the prisoners, he didn't grant them true liberation. The three nameless stayed on the planet. With Sunday. His name is Sunday. Trailblaze throughout the frontier prison. Alas, their efforts proved futile. Please don't notice me. Wait, which way do I have to go? Wait, what does this do? <laughs> okay, me too. <laughs> oh, do I just go this way, maybe? As Donna was engulfed in war, this time the enemies originating from within. The prisoners remained prisoners for the rest of their lives. Fighting for freedom rather than living for it. 
I hope you like this land of freedom on a scorched earth. As you can see, their sentences have long ended, and the IPC guards have long been expelled. Yet, these prisoners remain in Oh, yap, yap, yap. Yap, yap, yap. I get it. It's sad. They used to be prisoners and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've heard this ten times already. Prisoners, this is my order. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your Why does it have boobs? Fight for their lives. Oh, I have to fight you? That's that's what I'm saying. I desire not only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion. Strengthen our defenses. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. Let's begin. I'll see you off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. Eternal sleep is not a dead return. I want to murder this thing. Um... That's half the work on the still waters of oblivion. Wow, it's strong. You chose the wrong end. <laughs> this ends here. Bam. Familiar. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Wow, this is, the music is epic. Maybe I should turn it off. You know nothing of the weight behind survive or be destroyed. Be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Free will, or was it fate on the still waters of oblivion? Time for some hardship. I weep for the departed. <sighs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Like man, this story is long. I I thought it was gonna be like a nice simple run of finishing the story, but now I'm I'm like I'm like I, I just need to finish it now. Does this thing just die already? <laughs> Pretty please. I'm begging you. Oh wait, maybe we should do this real quick. Just so we get more healing. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Are you dead now? Thank goodness. No one can restrain you any Thus concludes the first act. Okay, this yep. must be how Panacone was constructed. They the outside his prisoners. Okay. Yep. However, it appears that Sunday aims to convey the spiritual plight of the prisoners more than the physical aspects of imprisonment. Uh, this show is a bit too literary for my taste you're saying you're too but dumb to understand it's quite easy to understand anyway we've arrived at the exit let's go okay these puppets where are they guiding us this time they transmuted streams of stars into inked nibs where am i going creating symbols to be pronounced and counted they molded stardust into flowing rivers, assigning the righteous upstream and the unjust. Oh, thank downstream. you. These mannequins are actually very helpful. They've been pointing me in the right direction. Very nice of them. Marked, and the world learned to discern between. Oh, oh a, a, a trading card. <laughs> I don't know what this is. A photo card of an owl, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore everything. I'm just gonna quickly skip through. I can figure it out. I know what the story is. Ode to Fool. Well, the surroundings mm, are different. Yep. Behold the ensuing tale. A struggle for power. Panacone witnessed the ascent of the seven major lineages. Tree. Grass. Flower. Bird. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not listening to you. Fruit and insect peace never truly graced land of the exiles the history in this era is rich and intricate so please allow me to present it in allegorical form 
Land of the Exiles was in disarray, besieged by both internal and external perils. Those it's not what I was saying, Sunday. Major lineages appeared united on the surface. Each harbored their own ambitions, leading to ceaseless conflict. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. The Black Plum family was the first to fall. They withered away in the White Desert event. Orchestrated by the Alfalfa family. Did not serve the, the leader of the Alfalfa family. Alfalfa. To the That's my favorite word in this game. Alfalfa. Freedom for survival. However, his eldest son slew him in the name of righteousness and ascended as the new family head. Whoops. We're almost there. I, I keyword I think. I hope. I pray. <laughs> uh this way. As for me, I shall forge new Only when Gopher Wood led the family to land of the exiles and earned recognition from all Oh my five gosh, major another one of these outsider. The screech your aid, preserved of blah blah blah. You want us to help? But I wish you would regain or resume the castle or some possible journey to becoming the land of dreams during the the family's crucial role. Uh, bad guy. Oh, that's right. Read the lines, and blah blah blah. blah. Mm. Let me get this chest real quick. Okay, you first. What do you need help with? <laughs> yeah, Oops, the guys for whom I sing, the calmness. Uh, she needs to be calm. So, there you go. I shall sing for my new master. Okay. What do you need? <gasps> calmness. Oh, do they all need to be calm? Okay, I got you. Master. They're giving them some chamomile tea to help them relax. Who doesn't like chamomile tea? My former master has long departed. <laughs> now nah, here's more dialogue. <laughs> master is no longer here. Either I shall. Here's your chamomile tea. There you go. At least we didn't have to fight this time. Blah 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 blah. I don't really care. Oh, we're fight. I helped you and we're still fighting? Whatever. Whatever. I'll teach you a lesson. How am I? I'm okay. I feel much more energized right now because I just had food. I just ate. Yeah. This story is going on forever, though. It's kind of fun, but man, I want to just fight the big boss guy. I want to teach him a lesson. I want to go beat him up. Let's begin. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. Get a macron. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Time for some hardship. Hope you're prepared. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> okay, this one wasn't as bad as the other one, but we'll see. He's pouring wine on us or something. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. Never falters! Destined for oblivion. Okay, we have that prepared for whenever. We'll wait until his shield goes down, actually, I think. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Hello, Tommy Cuss. How are you? To me. Hope you're prepared. 
I'm fine. Ouchie. Okay, we're gonna do this. Do this. <laughs> then do this. This do this, and then do this. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay, he's almost dead. That's good. My arms, M's, em emotes. <laughs> I was trying to do. I was like arms. <laughs> I was like, do I say <laughs> Thank you, thank you. We have new ones today, actually. Or, or new ones that I added. I don't know if you guys saw them. I can finally have a copium emote. I should promote them more for people who haven't seen them. And I have this one. These are new ones that I just added to <laughs> whichever that one. No, all good. <laughs> Leave it to me. I thought I was just like my, my I didn't have I don't have my glasses on right now so I thought I was just Alas, reading it wrong but <laughs> it's all good. The very end. Okay. This is how Penicone found Pen really Okay. <laughs> you trying to wake up? Yeah, I know. I love the little dead emote because it emulates so many emotions and so many things at the same time. There's a birdie. Get out of there, little guy. That one's so cute. Let me free. Let me out. <laughs> okay. She's telling me to leave the room. Thank you. Thank you. Where do I go next? This way? This way? This way? Thank you. Among the masses. A grand lyre with black and white keys served as an instrument, while symbols of articulation and numerical notation took the form of musical notes. The downward flowing river became a melody. <gasps> Bird! And the cannon <laughs> I keep getting distracted. The form. Chip, chip. Chip, chip. Okay. We're almost there. I'm sure there won't be 16 more like like dialogue options like constantly for every little single thing that I press on. <gasps> bird. Sorry, sorry. The the birds I, I I see bird. I have to go get bird. Okay. I think after this one we can fight him, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> the last scene is all about singing the praise and the atmosphere here is can I reach that bird this over there? The concluding Come here. This play. I see you, birdie. Come here. Whatever. This is the future of the Pentacle. And now I shall reveal its future to you. Um If I had to guess, we have to go this way. Then we press this. Then move that. And we do this. Okay, I think I achieved nothing here. That's great. Okay, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Perfect. That's uh, exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, we have to follow the mannequins. Remember, where there are mannequins, that's where we go. If there's mannequins, we go there. Oh. 
Okay, and then there's mannequins again. Go here. Oh, whoops. That scared me. Uh, well, can reach the balloon, but the, you don't have to. The thing is, you don't pop that balloon. I don't think. You have to like click on it, but I could be wrong. Maybe I could try it later. Um, I went to the wrong one. We have to go around here. <laughs> After the king's With module. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh. Maybe what we do here real quick. Um, Let's wait and see. Sure, I guess. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a bird feather. Yeah. Hey, aren't we supposed to kick off a short story? Perhaps we'll need to. So. Okay, fine, fine. Uh. uh... Satisfied? Farewell, king. Eh? How did it go? I can't choose their emotions. You can't change. My apologies for my negligence. I forgot to inform you that the final part. Let our previous king recount. Prepare for battle. Okay. I'm ready for for battle. Descending from the infinite spiral staircase, I traverse towards the future with measured steps. No need to remember or seek my assistance. For the contours of my mind shall be. You're just yapping. Just be quiet. <laughs> in the name of Landa, a will forged in ice. Oh my gosh. On the still waters of oblivion. Um, Another journey begins, destined for oblivion. Leave it to me. Uh, we'll do another one of these. He doesn't quite have his ult yet. I want to wait until Well gets his ult. Then we'll do this real quick. Eternal sleep is not <gasps> they block the my ult. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's not blocked anymore. We're good. On the still waters of oblivion. You know nothing of the weight behind the survive or be, or destroyed. be destroyed. There is no other no choice. choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Let's begin. You chose the wrong end. <laughs> Free will, or was it fate on the still waters of oblivion? Okay. Time for some hardship. Hm. I'll see you off. <laughs> this one's kind of hard to beat. Just a little a wee bit. Here. Just a tiny bit, you know. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. Again. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. Eternal sleep. The dead return. I hope you don't imprison. Okay, that's fine. Leave it to me. You do this, and then another you one of these. The be Survive or be destroyed. be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You chose the wrong enemy. Okay, Another now journey it's frozen. On the still waters of oblivion. Almost begin. dead. Thank goodness. <laughs> In the hushed expanse of a nocturnal river, what is mine shall wait. This is the final scene. Okay. Let's go. Once this stage play can. Well, we'll be fine. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. 
Sunday, are you ready to fight now? I've been I've been waiting for a little while. Oh. Oh. They imbued the world with meaning, perfecting all things in the heavens and on earth. Then they rested from the labor. Yet all beings cried out to Enna. Under the mm. banner of the Order, you have defined all things oh. in the cosmos. Oh, hello, but this hello, Esclus. That we are but puppets welcome in, in your hands. welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate too. Oh, bunny pet too. Welcome in. How is Dolly's stream today? Imposter check. Thank you for the imposter check. Let me give you a shout out real quick. Okay, just <laughs> uh, so shout out. Okay. And another one. It was fun you're playing uh You guys are I gave Toto a nice pet. <laughs> Yeah, but how uh, how did that go? <laughs> oh, whoops! I did not mean to click that. <laughs> okay, it, it didn't mess anything up. <laughs> Thus, on that day, all beings I should do Geo Guesser someday. I'm just not good at locations. I don't think I'd be that good. But in this, maybe, ooh, that's good. This is all the pets he does. Everyone, get ready. I will say Toto may get a sibling. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but he may. If if it if if things work out, Toto may get a little bunny friend. I'm not sure if he'll like the bunny friend. We'll have to hope he likes his bunny friend if I get one. Get another one. That marked the seventh day. But Geo guess with Alex and all. How did that go? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just, just let me go in. What are you afraid of, Sunday? Maybe. No guarantees. I <laughs> had to carry the younger bros. That concludes everything related to the order. What are your reflections on this? We just fight. Nevertheless, this is but a trivial. This is all trivial. Just let me history. fight. What truly matters is the course this river shall take in the days to come. You've arrived at the perfect moment. Uh huh. The charming is about, about to be. It will shame be shame that if you're absent for the hog. Allow me to uh, send the warmest welcome. Warmest welcome, welcome to the theater, bear chorus, sweet dreams. Da, da, da. I can do your f voice lines faster than you. The In the very, very place, place future will become. Get smashed into. Your unwavering faith in the trail of true goodness can only be achieved through faith. Allow me to point out that falling into a permanent slumber is not happiness. Yeah, yeah some food. Oh, okay. I hope you get some yummy food. Enjoy. Thank you for the hydrate. Do you still believe that the Order only seeks to control the universe as their puppet, Himeko? No matter how perfect your vision of paradise may be, a cage remains a cage. Ooh. People will never achieve true happiness in a world like that. Tell them. Just be toys for the eon. T tell them. Get him. It seems you have. I'm gonna kick him while he's down. My intentions. Allow my desire is not to, my... or become my one myself. Desire is not to. What's your my desire? Objective is to create a paradise for eons. 
where the Order ensures the dignity and happiness of all humanity. That's not the case. If people are to live with dignity, there must be nothing and no one above them. In your so-called paradise, you would be the one reigning supreme. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to convince each other. Yeah. Now that our conflict has been destined, let's unveil our paths and reveal... To I was waiting that for hours path. ago, Sunday. Why it took you so long? Before the prelude... Oh my gosh, stop saying however. Is. Just... Take just fight. Just fight me. I, I don't care. I don't care. Just fight me. Is darkness equal to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? If you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? I hate you, Sunday. I hate you. Uh, villains love to monologue. Yeah, they do. I hate you, Sunday. Just fight me. Be a be a man. <laughs> Just fight me already. Are you? What are you afraid of? Oh, you afraid that you're gonna get your ass kicked? You chose the wrong enemy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nothing major. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. Never falls. Can I auto this actually? No, I cannot auto this. I seize. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. So familiar. Destined for oblivion. Hmm. I'll see you off. <laughs> Eternal sleep. The dead returns. The dead returns. This ends here. Hmm. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. <gasps> Get him. Settle this. Kick him while they're down. You're prepared. Destined for oblivion. Let's begin. You chose the wrong enemy. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. There is no. Oh, there's choice. two phases. <gasps> ah. <laughs> there's two phases. I didn't even notice. <laughs> this ends here. I'm fine. Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. You saw Hani doing this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> right now it's not too bad, but maybe second phase will like make me cry. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. In ice. Never, Never falters. falters. For oblivion. Finish him off. Well, they're a tickle. They're a tickle. Eternal sleep. A tickle. Dead return. <laughs> it is a long story quest. It's two phases. <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely, lovely. That's that's such a lovely move. You guys work so well together. I love that for you. Sunday, you are such a coward. Another You're such a coward. On the still waters of oblivion. Is that mm -hmm. all? When is it my turn? Thank you. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. I'm just trying to combo no Welt ult with um, Akron's ult because it kind of works very well together in these fights, so. Every time I well gets his ult, I I try to use Akron's ult right after. <laughs> it's your favorite story. It's very interesting. It is, but um, Sunday is gonna have to pay for this. Free will. Name of Landa. A will forged in ice. I can't wait to pull for Sunday and then put him through torture. Destined for oblivion. I 
I'll see you off. <laughs> Eternal sleep. The dead return. <laughs> sleep lately. Yeah, that's understandable. Playing the story while sleepy is definitely not going to make you happy. <laughs> I can tell watch. you that. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Again. Mmm, this might hurt a lot. This might hurt a lot. This might hurt. Okay, no, it didn't. We're good. Bloom. Repay. Eternal sleep is not the dead rage. It's just rage quitting closing the game. Oh no. That's half the work. I can't wait to be angered by this boss. Still waters of oblivion. Well time for some hardship. Okay. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay, it's almost dead. 40% left. That's really good. 25% left. That's really good. If you think about it. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. I'll see you off. In the name of Landau, a will. Oh, it looks nice. Never nice. Gonna head out. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely night and take care of yourself, media. On the still waters of oblivion. Leave it to me. I don't think we're gonna get well salt here, I so we're just gonna use Akron salt real quick. And I think that should finish them off. It too shall fall. There we go. I already know. Your decision. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these 107,336 stones, the almighty and powerful streams of harmony are at my disposal. Okay. I'm not afraid of you. Ooh. That was sick entrance, but I'm not scared of you, Sunday. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, lost souls, come and meet your master. The embodiment of the harmony. So the true purpose of the Charmony Festival is to usurp it. Usurp it? What does that mean? My, my, um. Well, whatever. Depart just hit him. Again. Let's begin. <laughs> You chose the wrong enemy. This will be interesting. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Ouchie. Ouchie. Um. Why could the harmony and the order merge into one? I'm so happy to be beating them up, honestly. Like, this is kind of fun. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm satisfied. The noise is fading. Ouch. That hurt, actually. Uh... You'd rather save for someone else? Uh... <laughs> I actually don't think the 30 second cooldown is that bad because of how she works. Better make it actually, using her, it's not as bad as you think it is. Stand down. Oh, noisy. Is that all? This ends here. Okay, bye, Jay. Thank you for stopping by. Always appreciate you stopping by. Take care. Hope you have a good work day. Never falters. Dustin, <laughs> Time for some hardship. <laughs> I'm feeling like there's another world in front of my eyes. It's the power of tuning. Don't let the song distract you. I'm not really distracted. March, maybe you should pick it up. 
My safer weapon banner? What weapon are you gonna be pulling for sleep? Still waters of oblivion. Because neither side could tolerate discord. Nothing major. Hey, look. What is it? My turn. Bro, calm down. Know nothing of the I get it. You're angry. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Sink into a dream. Free will oh, I, get, I didn't get not. <laughs> that wasn't even a sentence. I didn't get to use Japard's ult before that. Yes, yeah, so I thought this was a four star. Miss Splitter or Jade Cutter? Ooh. Yeah, that makes sense. Eternal sleep is the dead. Because remember, you said that you wanted one for your Kaching, right? Another journey begins. I think. On the still waters of oblivion. He's a tickle. Sneeze on him. Sneeze on him. A two, and he dies. A two. A two. I know we get one. There's in the um. Wait, is it actually? No, there's a second phase. Isn't there a second? Okay, there we go. Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. <gasps> <gasps> Dunghung! Bestie! What, 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 what took you so long? And the Shinjo. Look at you guys. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. I, I am awake. Hey, wake up. Oh, are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Wait, what? Uh, it does. Looks like your mind's still in one piece. If you're able to remember. I just want to finish the fight. Like, come on, man. Uh, long story simply put and then we return to reality everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape no and the rest this is not real this is not real and now that you're awake no this is not real not going to come chat with me sleepyhead why are you that here voice. is that black swan What? What's Miss Black's? Nothing, Miss March. I noticed she was awake and wanted to check. Though the strike from the general was timely, its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably. But luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Oh, so that's what. Don't mention it. What After what do you all, mean? The I fight's just over? See such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? I wouldn't bother of course, of course not. not playing last time. Why would you have an Himeko and Mr. Yang are probably Okay. Still well I guess it, we're no, back in reality. I, I I guess. I I I I guess. Look, he's still talking to that cowboy. Hello? Oh, you're awake. Yep. How do you feel? Well, fork me. You must be that Stellaron they were talking about. Well, I'm more than a Stellaron, but okay. <laughs> Why do you have to blab about anything? Fork? <laughs> I'm so perverse. That's a, such a dumb... No, I can't say that. Don't worry. She's been up and about for a while now. Allow me to introduce him. Boot Hill Gallus is a person covering Which is why we sought you. No need for thanks. Now the galaxy is that really is it for this fight? Correct every injustice one sees. That feels very anticlimactic. Right. Maybe this is me. Uh, more. Wait, hold on a sec. This is the first time I'm 
like hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the express? So much damage. <laughs> uh, good question. Um, who was it again? Uh, Don Hum, do you remember? I had a key, man. You're looking kind of sus. Oh, that ain't it. I just can't seem to... It... Hmm. I can't seem to remember either. Yeah, no one remembers Akron. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> Heck, forget about it. If it slipped all our- Yes. When the dust settles, everyone, let's hurry up and look for Miss Himigo, shall we? She's now a minor- You're right. Oh, I'm just a- I'm a star now? I'm gonna be a star. You guys go. Okay. Nice meeting you, Boot Hill. Hopefully we get to talk again or whatever, I guess. Is it this way that we had to go? Yeah. Seeing you in. <laughs> That's all right. In these times of conflict, for the sake of utmost safety, it's only right. It is only right that the Alliance steps forward to mediate on behalf of the Astral Express. We must not allow you to take unnecessary risks. Furthermore, despite the IPC's eagerness for success, it prioritizes peace above all. The family chapter. Lions has won people over from uh... the general possesses a deep understanding of the greater good with the Cienjo Alliance mediating peace for Penacony is within reach <laughs> you should barely keep your eyes open right now you flatter me. <laughs> oh go to sleep ultimately it's been uh first without your efforts sweet we Jim efforts. this sweet well, would you look at that? Hi, Jingwen! Here Wen. comes the big hero. No, 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 no. I'm, it was all of our efforts. Except for marches, you know. Hello. It was nothing, really. <laughs> Here's the galactic baseballer. The paragon of both heroism and humility. Are you okay? Yeah. Or you couldn't wake up. Are you feeling unwell? I was just a little bit EP, you know? Don't worry, Mr. Yang. There's nothing wrong with her. She practically burned through a lifetime's worth of jokes on the way here. What about you, Mr. Yang? I heard that even Miss Robin wasn't spared. And that guy locked you both up. Uh, it's a long story. He used an ability called tuning to connect our consciousnesses with his. And thanks to General Jing Yuan's destruction of the harmonious. Uh, he used that tuning on us too. Does that mean that we were almost imprisoned as well? I can confidently say now, he was truly after a fair fight with us. Had he wanted, he could have easily taken That's us true. down. Without so much as. Speaking of the Oak family head, where is he now? It's complicated, but in a nutshell... He's now the form... Yeah, the form I figured. Oak family. I mean, yeah. The IPC has named him the key figure in the family's Penacony split, citing a threat to cosmic peace. He must represent the family and answer for the unrest caused. His trial is set to take place at Pier Point. The family quickly labeled him and the remnants of the oh, family. A rebellion. Internal rebellion. Everyone really has their own agenda. Then, what's going to happen to Miss Robin? She and Sunday won't be able to deny their involvement. <sighs> Why the side, Jen? I can only say that this incident is an unexpected mess for the girl. The Alliance will try to persuade the family to consider this matter carefully during mediation. It's time, everyone. The IPC's key mm. members and I have agreed to consult. Given the General's invitation and the matter's significance to the universe, the crew will. Why, of course you're welcome. You mentioned a team, trusted ally. ally of the IPC. We're not allies of the IPC, so but no I don't want to mess with the IPC. I'm going to be honest. Um. Reliable observers from the Astral Express present. Discussions will. <laughs> I'm kind of allergic to those types of situations. Then stay home. I think I'll just head back to my room and start. Not to worry. Take care of those. I'll also have to return to the. And is worried, and it's best I go to explain Thank the situation. You. Uh. What about you? I'll go 
with Miss Unical. <laughs> Great. Although I'm not too sure of the reason. The representatives from the IPC have insisted on her presence. I'm going to finish the rest. Of I know this is probably not long, but I'm just going to finish this later. Hopefully, I never have to go to that area. So I'm going to try to avoid that area. I can't. Well, <laughs> Junior, how much is left? Theoretically, if I was to start this right now. Honey, rage quit. Really? I don't know. Oh, do, should I keep going? Two hours is my blind guess. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. But it's not okay. So this is like the last tidbit. Okay, I guess I'll talk with them. Oh, and who is that over there? That's Doctor Ratio. The Intelligentsia Guild's Doctor Ratio. This assembly is quite something. Okay, hello. What are you guys talking about? It's been a while. Don't call me your friend. Don't call me your friend. Extend my sincere thanks to you, General of the Lafu. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. Oh, looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure. Leave it to me. In summary, it's good news. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's Council, the absolute majority of members... To an hour and a half. No way, it's an hour and a half. I don't believe that. In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the... You're just yapping. Just say it. ...permanently relinquish its claim on Penacone sovereignty. Okay. And offer unconditional uh, support. Uh, <laughs> now that's something. All in the name of peace. Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's the guild, much like uh, G side the, the pinnacle interest. Parties, carpets, carpets, and da da da. Oh, hi, Skrulum! What's up? Uh, 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 the spirituality of my bar, in area to no mechanisms, the rock dream, blah 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 Okay. With the realm of the man, there's fire, shadows, one. Um. And nothing but projections, my system desired but unattainable. But after learning the Pentagon sculpture, I have um, realized the flame is beyond my grasp. Uh, partners have deferred the progress of simulating this. Tells you that, that, not only that. We've also established contact Garden with the Garden through ICPC and they've put the word in those. Uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, that's a big W for everyone. But, uh, At the end of the day, this is a. At the end? <laughs> no wonder everyone insisted that she be there. It heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for Pentacone's But please, I trust that it was a consensus. Looks like Panacone's future is decided. I'm wondering. No way it will be another two hours. Genuinely? Peace is our greatest wish. Beyond that, we desire. <laughs> okay, I had to stop at some point. And so the part to deal with the pisses. Stop. Stop. It appears stop. nothing else to worry about on Penacony. Looks like it's time for us to uh, voyage. Sounds good to me. You two head back to the express first. I'll pick up March and I promise that procedure. Oh, also, Miss Black Swan, you have a matter to. Mm -hmm. No, these kids went in. Blah 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 blah. Stop yapping. Our time. Panacone's journey ends. Here. Okay, I I can never go back to the astral stress uh, express until I I I I I, I <laughs> you know finish the story. So hopefully I never need to go back to the astral stress for anything. <laughs> I've been playing this game. I know the stream doesn't say the proper time, but I've been playing this for since three o'clock. So almost like seven hours or something. Three to four. 
Six hours? Seven hours? You're so close to rage quitting. I'm not gonna rage quit. It's just I just don't I can't do how you're telling me I have two more hours of that. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I don't mind doing the story, but man. All the yapping. <laughs> We had a couple of crash. Well, the first one was a power outage, and then the second one was a crash, and we had a couple of crashes. And they did it in six hours. Damn. Uh, but yeah, we'll raid someone now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see who's live. How do you have rage quit? <laughs> Get right B. It's been a while since B is streamed, I think, so that'll be nice. Let's read B. Thank you guys for being here. I had a lot of fun. But now oh, you <laughs> oh. I didn't work for work because you already typed it. <laughs> Actually, why did that go through as a chat message? It shouldn't even have gone through if, if it's already. Did I? Oh, did I spell Raider? No, just that. That's actually weird. Anyways, um, I had a lot of fun today. We'll finish this maybe tomorrow because I actually have to change the time of my stream. Yeah, Twitch broken. I have to change the time of my stream tomorrow. I will not be d able to stream at three tomorrow because Toto has an appointment at like four tomorrow. So I'll be uh, starting stream a little bit later, probably at six if I had to guess. Uh, and maybe I'll finish the P Pentacona story then. But that's it for now. Thank you for being here. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> maybe getting a sibling not guaranteed maybe uh, yeah i had a lot of fun and that is it bye ha wait have a lovely day night or whatever time it is for you and bye